Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be doing chapter 7, verse 7. Um, so, in this one also, Bhagwan Sri Krishna talks about me so much and both of the commentaries by Prabhupada and Swami Mukundanand highlight that and talk about how personalism is the way to go. So, um, I have not understood it fully. I've understood a little bit of what Swami Mukundanan said, but uh, what uh, Prabhupada said, I've not yet understood. So, this along with uh, chapter 7 verse 5, 7.5, I'm going to read through it again more carefully and I will um, go back. I'll come back to these videos when I have spoken in my neck, in whatever video I speak in, where I've learned these, I've studied them and I've tried to understand them in a deeper way. Then I will refer back on the description of these, uh, both these videos and say, uh, explain what that means. Right now, I have some little bit of understanding, at least of what Swami Mukundanand said, because in, he was a little bit simpler to understand in this. Um, so I, but this is, this is a huge topic, right? This is going to take some time for me to truly, truly understand. But I do want to understand what they are saying in these verses. This is prob That's probably easier. And then I'm going to be listening to a whole bunch of lectures around this and read a whole bunch of texts or whatever. Like over time, I think I'll figure this out in a deeper way. But uh, And I've started creating a note. I have a, I've started a note where I've written the different uh, things where, as I was reading the Gita. Like these, this is a turning point where people, the personalists and impersonalists, have a different translation to this. Um, so I'll keep adding to that note and eventually I'll have something solid. <laughs> you know, there is this book called Teachings of Lord Chaitanya that Prabhupada has written and I'm expecting he's, he's had conversations with two impersonalists in that. And I think studying that will be really, really good because that will have a much deeper understanding of what, what uh, things are and where things are in terms of these two. Shastric proof. Uh, of what is what. Um, okay, so let's sing this verse together. Mataha parataran, Mataha parataram nanyat, Kimchedas the Dhananjaya, Mai Sarva Medam Protam, Sutre Mani Gana Iva. I like this uh, for some reason, feels good. O conqueror of wealth, there is no superior truth truth superior to me. I, I don't know what's going on with me now, uh, today. Um, everything rests upon me as pearls are strung on a thread. Okay. And uh, let's uh, read what he says here. There is nothing higher than myself, O Arjun. Everything rests in me as beads strung on a thread. So he's saying very clearly, there is nothing higher than myself. There is nothing higher than me. Everything rests upon me as pearls on a string. Uh, um, okay, so let's go word by word. Mataha, beyond me, parataram, superior, not. No, beyond me, there is nothing superior. Anya kinchit, anything else. Beyond me, there is nothing else that is superior. Asti, there is. Beyond me, there is there is nothing else that is superior. Dhananjaya, O conqueror of wealth, O Arjun. Mai, me. So here, Mataha, beyond me. Mai, in me. Sarvam, all, everything. Idam, which we see. Protam is strung. Sutre, on a thread. Sutra is on a thread. Mani, ganaha. Pearls like ever like pearls. Okay, so in me, all that which we see is strung like threads. Um, and I uh, just want to go very quickly to here. Um, so in me, all which we see is strung on a thread. Uh, mani ganaha, like beads, like beads. Mani ganaha. Okay. Um, like pearls, like beads. Um, that's what mani ganaha. Okay, so. Now, uh, Prabhupada talks about a common controversy, whether supreme truth is personal or impersonal. As far as Gita is concerned, this is conversed, uh, confirmed in every step. I'm feeling that, that it's confirmed in every step, that it's a person, that it is Krishna Bhagwan himself. He's saying, I am, there's nothing superior to me. Okay. Um, and then in the Brahma Samhita also, it says that in the Shweta Shwara Upanishad, he says that, 
and then Shweta Shweta Upanishad uh, impersonalist put stress on this word Arupam somewhere but Arupam is not impersonal because Roop is uh, form and Arup is in A uh, is added to negate something in Sanskrit so if Roop is form then Arup is formless like no form um, so then he's explained so I, I haven't uh, understood this part or read studied this part yet uh, okay, so let me go to Swami Ukandanan because this part is simpler here. He says that uh, uh, here Lord Sri Krishna states about his dominion and his supreme position in the universe. He is the substratum over which this entire creation exists. So similar to beads strung in a thread which can move in a place, God has given individual souls free will to act as they wish, yet their existence is bound to him. Okay, so that's uh, their, uh, the thing. So he, again, he's uh, talked about Shvetashwar. Upanishad, there is nothing equal to God, nor is there anything superior, superior to him. And, uh, and Brahma also prays to Lord Sri Krishna. Yeah, so that's... Uh, Lord Shri, uh, Shri Krishna is the Supreme Lord who is eternal, omniscient, omniscient and infinite bliss. He is without beginning and end, origin of all, cause of all, cause of all causes. Okay. So, yeah, that's it uh, for this verse. We'll do chapter 7, verse 8 in the next video. Wish you a day filled with tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of spiritual growth. Um, I will pray for all of you. Um, wish you a beautiful day. Radhe, Radhe.